And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Defenders to kick off our Throwback Thursday stream. It's right on Thursdays here, what we're doing until rotation, which is in about six weeks or so. Every Thursday, I am building decks based around rares and mythics that never got to see very much play in standard, but were pretty cool and want to give them one last chance to shine before they rotate out. This is my cat, Hawkeye. He's the best. You my chopstick? No. Um, the the deck that, like the rare or mythic that we're building around today, and really we're building around three different mythics, three different three color mythics today. First, we got Arcades the Strategist up first. So, you know, we got to play our defender deck and let Arcades do its thing. Um, <laughs> we have. Uh, after this, we're going to be playing Grixis Pirates, built around um, Admiral Beckett Brass, and then our third deck, Sultai Value, based around Mold Drotha. So make sure you check out those videos also. Plus, if you have any suggestions on rares or mythics that are rotating out that haven't gotten a chance to see standard play that you want to see played, let me know in the comments if you're watching this one later on YouTube. Don't forget to do that. Okay, uh, for next Thursday. That is. Anyway, what we got here, we got a lot of defenders. We got a Resolute Watchdog, which is my favorite. I don't know if Hawkeye likes the, the Watchdog too much. Um, you know, our Wall of Rooms Porculus Vine. I guess that's a word. And Wall of Mist. You know, we, we have all these defenders that on their own are, are pretty bad. Not very good. So why would we want to play them? Well, because whenever we have a creature with defender enter the battlefield under our control we get to draw a card so that's pretty sweet so they're all like one man to draw a card plus you know like they're creatures and then all of our creatures with defender assign combat damage equal to toughness rather than power and can attack as though they had defender so we have that plus we have high alert that has that same second clause there so we can have our uh, defenders can actually attack if we have one of these seven things in play and they also assign damage equal to their toughness so you know the vine is a 3-3. Three, three. That's a 4-4. Four, four. That's a 3-3. That's a three, three. You know, one mana 3-3s three, three, and one mana 4-4s four, are pretty strong. So our deck doesn't do a whole lot unless we have Arcades. So that's a really, really important card for us to have. Uh, so we need some more. We need some card advantage. We need some ways to find it. So that's where we got these Vivians in here. Uh, two Vivian Reeds, two Champion of Wilds. Both of those can dig for Arcades. Risen Reef is just a, a solid card that gives us some card advantage, helps us find Arcades. Plus, it's a three drop, which is really important because I wanted to play a three drop that I could sacrifice so I could play a couple Neoforms, where Neoform, we're, we just want to uh, sacrifice our Risen Reef to go find Arcades. So that's that's what, uh, you know, we have this, real, this Risen Reef Neoform combo. Also, if we need more mana, we can take one of these one drops that are all kind of crappy and we can sacrifice them to Neoform to grab Incubation Druid and get a counter on the Incubation Druid. So then it can start adding three mana and it can cast all these other things over here for us as well if we need some extra mana. So we can do that with Neoform, a nice little party trick there. I got one Oketra up here at the top also because Oketra, when you have high alert, uh, deals damage equal to its toughness. So Oketra is going to be six power double strike. That's a lot of power. And... Um, and then also it, it makes, you know, like when you have Arcades in play, you get to draw a card with all these things. When you have an Oketra in play, all these crabby creatures will at least make 4-4 four, four zombies. So that's pretty good. So Oketra helps us out there. Um, and finally, a couple other cards. we got a Tetsuko. If, you know, we have the High Alert or Arcades in play, it will make all of these things unblockable. Because power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. So we can have unblockable three threes and four fours and stuff like that and we got a johnny uh because it's just a good uh value engine making these things bigger works well with incubation druid but then also can just make these defenders really big and uh you know have them even attack for more damage um i think so i wanted the other reason why i want some planeswalkers in here because i think that creatures with defender do a good job blocking especially if you pump up their their regular power so they can block pretty well, even when you don't have high alerts or arcades. And blocking makes it, you know, difficult to attack through to damage these planeswalkers. We can threaten ultimates with the adversary tyrants or the Vivian Reed, which could be pretty nice. Uh, sideboard, you know, we got some removal, some counter magic kind of thing. We got Gideons against Esper decks, like you know, removal heavy decks. We're just going to bring in a bunch of Gideons. Uh, we got a couple of time wipes against the 
green mana decks and everything. We want a couple of those. We can save our 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 Arcades. Our Arcades. Our Arcades. And then also against like vampires, I got a Luxodon Life Chanter. Uh, it is does cost six mana, which is a lot. Um, then we have changes in your the background. Rigel, I I don't understand your question. Um, but anyway, uh, we whenever this enters the battlefield, you may have your life total become the total toughness of creatures you control. So you could gain a lot of life against vampires, which can help you stabilize. Plus, being a six drop, maybe we neoform into it. You know, maybe we sack like our, our Oketra to neoform into it. You never know. That could that could happen. That could be a thing. But yeah, maybe we can gain a lot of life against the vampire deck to help stabilize. All right, let's give this a try. So we're not expecting the best records with our Throwback Thursday decks, but that's all right. We're taking them into a league here. Going to pay our thousand gold and see how far we can get before we pick up two losses. So Bant Defenders. Okay. No Teo. No. So yeah, Teo is that Planeswalker that gives you Hexproof and you can minus to make an O3 Defender. I don't think having Hexproof for yourself is too valuable and I would rather have something like Vivian there instead of Teo where you can minus and get multiple creatures <laughs> yep we're recording we're all good all right one lander one lander it's a good start good start I have a very generic mana base of the 24 dual lands in the band colors. Well, <laughs> I've had a, I've had an easier time before. Yeah, we got three one landers here. Into the perfect hand. Nice looking swamps over here from the opponent. All right, time to start rising the reefs. Get our card advantage back. Hmm. It's not a land. Thankfully, the vampire's opponent started off pretty slow for us. Hmm. Didn't finish very... <laughs> that didn't take very long to stop being slow, though. the lands well at least our opponent won't know that we're like a, a weird RKD's high alert deck calls to your soul. I mean like come on we're we're playing Arcades. can't we get any luck <laughs> Can we get any luck at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just dead. Let's just let's just give up. Am I missing something? Okay, there there's 24 lands in here.
So some baffling ends, some time wipes, this life chanter. Don't think I really want Veil of Summer. Maybe though. All right, what six cards am I taking out? Take out one of these. One of those. So we need four more cards out. Now, ne never taken out Arcades ever against anything. Got to have Arcades. We just have to have Arcades. Hey, Nero, thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Glad you really like the Throwback Thursday idea. So we are trying our defender deck against the top deck in standard right now. Makes our life a little hard. How is this supposed to win? I guess we just have to hit a lot of lands. I guess Oketra can win. Just give me a land. You can't go two games in a row without drawing any lands, right? All right, this has to hit land. I haven't played any no I haven't played any four color decks recently. I wouldn't mind trading Rosen Reef for Sky Marcher Aspirant. But I think we have to keep it because we're so low on lands. You will not bring me pleasure. Just stop. Join my Just one drop, double one drop, then Soren into Champion of Dusk? Just stop. Yeah, tower defense is a you know, it's a it's a pump spell that could give your defenders plus 5 plus 5 of course. But I'm more worried about basically I just didn't want them in the deck over anything else. 
I'm more worried about actually getting a, a battlefield presence than what I'm doing once I have the battlefield presence. Where tower defense could come in would be over like the Ajani. Like that's that's the same kind of card where Ajani like helps your battlefield presence and everything like that. Like that's where it could come in. Hey, what's up, Roby? So that'd be an option there. I chose the Ajani as a planeswalker that can uh, grind and uh, threaten ultimate and everything like that over like the the quick trick of the tower defense. Yes, our, our our deck is not nearly as good as the best deck in the format. We're not playing like a, a really good deck here. And no, yeah, one drop, double one drop, and then soaring into champion of dusk. We're not beating that. Doesn't that doesn't mean we need to throw away the deck or anything like that. We're not going to win all of our matches. It's okay. Don't Don't need to expect us to win all of our matches. We're going to have fun though. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have fun. We're going to hopefully have a little bit better hands these next the next match here. And maybe we won't play against Vampires or Scapeshift. I don't think we're beating Vampires or Scapeshift, at least not with hands like that. We'll just play a couple of Risen Reefs and don't do anything. Alright, never want to draw the second high alert. It's kind of the problem with high alert is... The first one's just fine when you have, like, defenders and everything, but... Two high alerts on the battlefield don't do anything. All right, looks like we got some good old gates over here. Arcades. Awesome. I had never seen that animation before. Love it. So high, So the difference, one little difference is Arcady says each creature you control with Defender does the toughness instead of power. High alert is just all your creatures to draw a card. Draw card. All right, I need. I need to keep through. I need to keep one up for the resolute watchdog to be able to save Arcades in case of Gates of Blaze type stuff. All right, they only have three gates though, so they're only doing three damage. So we'll just save. I actually want to save the incubation druid. Now we'll save the vine. So I was planning on playing Vivian here. We stand to you are capable of more than you assume. These things hit pretty hard. Look 
at that. We're doing stuff. Oh, your rock? No, I haven't I haven't thought about putting your rock and disinformation campaign together. Opponent looks pretty dead. Play this to have Arcades do damage equal to its toughness as well. Hmm. Is this gonna be like settle the wreckage or something? Be strong. Yeah, so actually, so I decided that playing that high alert didn't really make sense, because I guess with Settle, the thing to do is just to attack with the other two creatures, because the other two creatures, besides Arcades, was 9 damage, was lethal. So I guess we didn't actually need to attack with Arcades that last turn, so playing high alert didn't make any, didn't matter. But all good, opponent conceded. So we're going to play some, so they're trying to make like a bunch of zombies. So they're like, Gate shift. I want negates against gate shift. Something like Gideon is like a threat that doesn't die to gates ablaze. Hey, Pinehurst. So we play Gideon and a gate. Might end up needing this time wipe. What if we take out what if we take out Risen Reef Neoform? Let's try this. <laughs> it's not my birthday today, Snox. Ooh, you haven't seen Blood Sun Gates. Yeah, Blood Sun Gates could be a thing. Your lands just don't even they don't enter on they don't enter tapped. So all your lands enter untapped, and you have Blood Sun. Boreal Grazer. We don't really need to play these defenders right now. They don't, you know, they don't really do anything on their own. I can wait till, like, if I wait till after Arcades, I draw a card for each one. I will lend you my strength. Your light will cleave the darkness. So they're not really playing any more lands. Arcades animation part two. Alright, Oketra, Arketra, Arke, Oketra Arcades combo <laughs> that means these are one mana, you get a 3-3 three, three, and a 4-4, four, four, and you draw a card. 
One mana, get a 3-3-4-4 three, three, four, four draw card. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet combination here. All right, so definitely need to work. Like, they got to have... They gotta have like uh, gates ablaze the next turn, right? No blocking allowed. Justice is served. My auto tapper doesn't like my green sources, I guess. Sure, scry one. Why not? That card's cool. Yeah, so there should be a board wipe here, but they should still... Like, they're going to need a board wipe plus something else. The Watchdog will save something. I guess save Arcades because it's a flyer. Awesome. Yeah, I've never played Arcades before. First time. So yeah, it was never Arcades was never part of the metagame. It's never strong enough. Yeah, yeah, Arcades is the Risen Reef of Dragons. <laughs> yep. Okay. Not bad, not bad. See, now we're actually getting, like, realistic hands of, like, three lands and four spells. That first match was rough. That's, that's how it goes sometimes, the first match of the day. All right, Porcupine. Are you blocking this thing? Can't be blocked? Nope. All right. You can chill over here, then. I would like the Risen Reef to hit a land where we can go Arcades plus Porcupine. Yay. Back to back. Ooh, looks like... Looks like I don't know what's going on anymore. I thought this was like Mono Blue at first. And then I thought it was like Blue Green Merfolk. Now I don't even know what's going on. So we have the Risen Reef of Elementals and the Risen Reef of Elder Dragons. We're not going to be able to flash in a wall of mist to, su to surprise him now. The walls. The walls are crumbling down on our opponent. Oh yeah, I never got Deckmaster going. It should be up here momentarily. So there, explore Merfolk. 
Explore folk. Cause, yeah, because like the other merfolks are, or like the you know Jade Light and Branch Walker are both merfolks. So just throw some Wild Growth Walkers in in your deck, and you're good. All right, we're gonna have a pretty sweet turn here. Besides attacking with these things. No, I'm not playing tower defense. <laughs> you ever seen like a, a wild growth walker and a merfolk branch walker have to double block a wall of mist? Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, I have one. Oh, I have one less mana than I thought I had. I thought I could Neoform and Watchdog and Arcades. Because I was playing, like, Neoform away Arcades into Oketra. And then play Arcades plus Watchdog. But we'll, we won't be able to play the Watchdog. Oh, well. Because Arcades, of course, is legendary. So having two Arcades in play isn't quite... Isn't... Very valuable. Well, we don't get the watchdog too. That's all right. Yeah, we're just getting Oketra and a four-four. No. The wild wasn't meant. No one said every defeat is a new beginning. Wow, that's rude. Wow, that was rude. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have lethal attacker there and lethal attacker for Vivian here. So should I kill their deep root waters or tick up with Vivian? Let's do this again. I think I'll kill this thing that gives them more chump blockers. I've seen worse. So get less chump blockers. My defenders are still bringing 4/4 four, four zombies to the party. They're like, we'll we'll sit over here and chill and defend. The zombies will go attack. Oh, the zombies have vigilance also, so they're going to actually defend too. We're just going to have lots of de defense here. No, just just put regular spaces in, Link. Balance comes. No. We can make Risen Reef unblockable. All right, Bant Walls. Crushing it. Uh, do I need to do any sideboarding? Like, Time Wipe is, like, something I could play, I suppose. If they go, you know, if we're, like, really far behind, maybe we want a Time Wipe. Nah, we good. Our deck's great. Yeah, our defenders could not actually attack, because... We didn't have any arcades left. Mm -hmm. 
Man, our deck is tough. So much toughness. We're attacking our opponent with, with all of our toughness. I just can't handle the toughness. It's a pretty sweet animation, though. 3-5 Vigilant Flyer that's coming down on turn 3. So, you know, that's a real body there. I've lost so much already. I won't loot. <laughs> I've seen mm. puppies whine less than you. I have one Tetsuko in here. Wilderness Reclamation. Why do they keep Spell Pierce if they have four forests? What is going on here? So this is, yeah, it's Explore Merfolk. I don't know. This is just kind of cards, cards we own. All right, Tender Shoe Dryad. That's a cool card. Creatures. Let me show you what was lost. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I could adapt her, then play a Johnny. Then I only have the two creatures. I am proud to fight by your. Look how far you have come. Hey, what's up, good brother? Yeah, I could play some Merfolk for Throwback Thursday before they rotate. Yeah, get like some Kumena action going on. It's not bad. All right, looks like our jank is handling our opponent's jank pretty well. The mysteries of life are endless. I will lend you my strength. Let's attack with a bunch of five, a bunch of five fives. Uh, they're making three threes all the time. Probably think that's pretty good. Let's make some five fives. I 
<laughs> I made a mono black deck with Walk the Plank. First deck I queued into casual against was Merfolk. That is some sadness right there. The porcupine. Porcupine vine doing its job. I guess technically before my incubation druid died, I could have untapped the wall of runes, I, I guess. We'll see if that makes a difference. Nope. Didn't. Didn't have to find out very long for that one. All right, there we go. See, look at that. Our band defenders. We're picking up some wins. We're picking up some wins. Okay, we had real. We had some pretty bad hands against the very best deck in the format. We did not win there. It also had Champion of Dusk turn three and turn four because of Soren. But now we're doing stuff. Hey, Thoral. We're doing stuff. So this Ajani is the slot that I talked about that if you want to play, uh, if you want to play tower defense, that's like where you'd replace like a Johnny there. But I'm liking a Johnny more. A two two. How will we ever block that? Oh, how about with a three five? What? That is so rude. Wow, that is rude. Yep, looks like Jeskai Wizards. Hmm. It is a feather deck. You were right, Papa Tim. Right before that feather was played, Papa Tim was like, I played against this earlier today, and it's a feather deck. And there we go. All right, well, deputy detention is a problem. We're going to have to have some baffling ends and uh, coming in from the sideboard here. Well, if we had a, a lot more life, you know, we could race our opponent with, you know, a couple of five fives and a three three. I guess I should have just played the wall in the vine last turn instead of adapting incubation druid. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do there, but if I would have just played the two walls out, then we would have drawn this high alert and we would have been able to attack for eight last turn, which. Could have helped us with a race, but obviously now. Because, you know, if we attack for eight last turn, then we're threatening lethal the next turn. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Uh, just kind of play out. Maybe just play the walls out, because then if you top deck 
the high alert. You can get him. Hey, Axis. Alright, so we want these baffling ends. Time wipes. Negate's not bad either. With a, against a feather deck. Yeah, like I have you know, the Champion of the Wilds gives my creatures reach. Uh, and then, of course, Arcades is a flyer. So we have a few ways to deal with flyers. Uh, yeah, and Vivian kills flyers also. It's like we have we have some stuff for flyers. If we bring in all this, though, I guess I'm am I cutting the Risen Reef thing again. Am I doing that? No, this is not a Johnny matchup. That Johnny can go. Tetsuko doesn't seem too re too useful either. That can go. Life Chanter may not be bad if they're not killing my things. Oh, they're gonna have. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take out. We're gonna take out Neoform Risen Reef and try Negate instead. I was feeling really good about that game until my Arcades got deputized. Yeah, it would be nice to have Wall of Blossoms for sure. Wall of Blossoms, Wall of Omens. Those would be some very nice cards to have. Have defi defenders that draw you cards. I really need two blue sources. I guess I'll keep three green over two blue. I guess we could have double negate. It's the tough call whether or not to play these things. It's like if you draw Arcades, you want to draw the cards afterwards with the Watchdog. If you draw High Alert or even like the Arcades, you get to attack with them right away. I'm going to see if they just play the Feather out here before Baffling Ending. Nope. No, that should be two. I guess the three wasn't deleted. All right, Decla should be correct now.
wild animals I like. No one knows the wilds like I do. Okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Would have the ability to play Arcades and play a one drop and protect Arcades with the Watchdog next turn. Really? Really? I'm a servant. They'd rather kill Resolute Watchdog than kill Vivian? Meet my newest friend. That doesn't seem to make very much sense. Poor Watchdog. It was just so resolute. Man, opponent's a real jerk. <laughs> just always killing my Arcades. Well, at least we know that we are not going to uh, draw a land again next turn. As every draw step in this entire game has been a land for us, except for this next one that we're about to have. Uh, I want to play Bant Ramp, but I don't have three Voracious Hydra. Do you think it's worth to add one Gorgos to the main list? No. If you don't, if you don't have the other Hydras, I wouldn't play Gorgos. I, I, I think that I think that's a. I don't think that's the correct w word or name. I feel like that's a, a Gargos? Maybe Gargos? Um, no, I'd rec I'd rec like it's it's you can play Bant Ramp without Voracious Hydra. You don't need Voracious Hydra. But I would recommend not playing the Hydra Lord without Voracious Hydra. So every draw step has been land, except for the one draw step that we put the card back. Hooray. Well, two and two. We we dealt with some really bad mana variants in a couple of those matches. The one against vampires, where it was just one lander, mole, one lander, mole, one lander. <clears throat> and, and that one where we just drew all lands kind of thing. Um... But there we go. So Arcades, you know, getting to play it here in in standard. Whenever Arcades got to, you know, whenever we got to untap with Arcades, play some walls and everything, it was really sweet. Uh, Oketra was really cool in the deck. Uh, the Vivians didn't help a ton, but we saw like that last game, like having the Vivians was really important. Like. Imagine where we'd be if we didn't have five mana Vivian that last game that, that grabbed us Arcades and grabbed us um, a wall that was going to trigger Arcades, but then they had instant speed removal. Deputy Detention was certainly a problem. I could have saved Baffling End for Deputy Detention, but as we saw, they had God's Willing, so like they, they would have God's Willing did away. Um, you know, we didn't draw Time Wipes. I put those in, didn't draw them. Time Wipe would have been good. Really, you know, drawing spells would have been good instead of just drawing all lands. So that was a little unlucky there. But yeah, Bant Defenders. So 
<laughs> yep, variance happens there. All right, so cool little deck here, and that's what we have today. You know, like, you know, we may be going like 2-2 with a lot of these decks. Nothing wrong with that, though. That's what Thursday's all about, having some fun with some different cards that we haven't gotten to play. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. Hope you had fun with it. Um, yeah, this, is, this looks to be a pretty, pretty cool little Arcades deck here. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. Let me know what rares and mythics that never you know that didn't get to see standard play that you want to see in standard before they rotate out for me to make decks around for next thursday don't forget to let me know those in the comments uh but there we go that's bant defenders so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video